Good morning everyone, it's Pastor Tim Hammy again at First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. It is so good to be with you on the 4th of October. And yesterday I started, we started to talk about Job and, and, and chapter 42 and, and 1 through 6 and, and, and all the things that Job has gone through throughout the whole book. But this morning I want to talk to you on the topic is, I know. I know. In verse 2 of chapter 42 it says, I know that you can do all things. No purpose of yours can be throttled. See, here's Job's point of confession. All through the chapter 40, he was getting pretty ticked off because he didn't understand why he was going through what he was going through. Maybe sometimes you're going through a hard time and you're going like, what's up? Why am I going through this junk? But can I, he comes to this, Job comes to this point of confession. He's gone through the whole, you know, 43 chapters and now he's coming to a point of confession. See, God can do all things well. He, God does all things well. Job admits that God's ways are beyond human comprehension. See, sometimes we don't understand why God is doing certain things, or if God. See, let me, let me give you this. So many times that we, as, as Christians, we, we say, well, why is God doing this? It's all God's fault, but can I tell you, and then we go to the other side, we get the devil. It's, it must be the devil. But sometimes things just happen. I remember back in the day, I, I went to a camp. I grew up in the Baptist church, and, and, and uh, I, I went to a camp called Camp Life, and this was probably about when I was 10 years old, and I, I had a friend, and, and I remember we were at camp, and we decided to teach everybody a lesson and, and, and take all their money because they were supposed to put it in the camp. So we took all their money. We got in trouble. Had to give the money back, which was right. So we went. then our job was to clean the camp bathroom as well. My friend decided to take the, the broom handle and started pounding against the, the, the paper towel dispenser. And we got in trouble again. We got called in the director's office once again. Well, I remember the shirt that my friend was wearing. It, and it said, the devil made me do it. And see, when I remember that shirt, I remember the director says, Dude, the devil didn't make you do this. You chose to do this. And so sometimes things just happen, but we have to understand that sometimes God uses situations in our life to teach us something. Well, let's go on with this. That, that Job was, that God's ways is beyond human under comprehension. I want you to that during his suffering and prayers, Job never sinned against God. Isn't that amazing? He never... During this time, Job acknowledged his error and was ready to submit to God no matter what happened to him, no matter what came against him, no matter what situation around. He said, I will not turn my back on the Lord. See, today, Job would be considered a radical. You know, when those people that, oh, you're just a radical Christian. He was radical in his thinking. If we as believers in Christ would grasp that radicalness, that radical Christianity that says, man, no matter what happens, I will stay strong with the Lord. No matter what happens, I will, I, will, I will get into His Word. No matter what happens, I will continue to have my faith in the Lord. See, radical or maybe even a little crazy. They might have thought he was a crazy. Job's friends thought he was crazy. Throughout the book of Job, he, his friends would say, hey, Job, you must have did something wrong. You must have sinned against God. Why don't you just curse God and die? It'll relieve you all your pain. And he never, never, let me tell you, he never sinned against God. He never turned his back on God. And God never tur turned his back on him. See, God knew he was a faithful servant. God knew that he would not sin against him. God knew these things. So can I encourage you, friend, stay strong in the faith. No matter what you may be going through right now, stay strong in your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He'll get you through. And maybe you're saying, well, I don't have a relationship with the Christ and with the Lord. <clears throat> Can I tell you that it's, you're, you're never too, too old to commit your life to the Lord? You can even do it today by asking Jesus in your heart. But most of all, trust in the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul. And lean on not on your own understanding, but on His. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much for this morning. I pray that, Lord God, that you'll bless every single person that's watching this. I pray that, Lord, that you encourage them. That, Lord, that you, you give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody this week, Lord. I thank you for this time. God bless you, and we'll talk to you later. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.